good kitten internet. I'm honestly shocked this shirt shows up because I'm wearing a green shirt with a green screen behind me. It's a very different shade, mind you, so it's good that it doesn't show up. Anyway, um, as you can see from the top right hand corner, today's the 14th, so today is Wednesday. Zen Kitty's around. He's, yep, you can just see him in the camera rarely. And let's get some more wild arms underway. So this is the day that I recorded the or released the previous episode. So this is not going to be within 12 hours. This will be within 36-ish. Um, yeah, 36-ish by the time that it's uploaded. So it takes a while for these to upload and process. Oh, jeez, the processing. I think the next time I do, when I do Wild Arms 3, I may drop the quality to 1080p, which is, I don't remember what resolution um, Wild Arms 3 actually runs at. If it's an integer scale to 1080p, I think we're just going to do that, because it's getting ridiculous how long it takes YouTube to process a 1440p video. I don't quite understand why. 1440p should be only twice as difficult as 1080p, yet it's taking a lot longer than twice as long. Huh. More like about 20 times as long. Anyway, we are back. Um, we were to go to the gate bridge, which is really the gate generator. Um, wanted to mention, because it got brought up in the comments. Oops. <sighs> Wait. What? It must... Ah! Huh. So it must remember where I last came in from, and not just, hey, look, I loaded the game from the memory service. Because otherwise, I would have appeared by the save point. Interesting. So yeah, this extra chest back here. Yeah, you can see it from that angle. Um, the thing that I'm following, which is just like the low-level guide, I'm just glancing at it to make sure I'm not forgetting anything, since this is the first time I've done a low-level thing. Um, the low-level guide doesn't it mentions that there that I need to go pick up those two chests back there, but the item that it mentions is in there is actually Tim's sand poncho, which we just bought. So either one, that's a mistake, or and we're not supposed to be able to get at it and something else later on, or more likely, or yeah, that's the more likely one, or two, it's actually, um, what we call it, um, it's actually a sand poncho, and I don't care. Luca, wait, are you going to... Punch him in the face. Yeah, but don't worry about me. What worry? I, I I wasn't worried. I was just sexually harassing you. Or really just harassment in general. That's not about sex in this case. That uh bum thing that you have? Yeah, it's called Eat My Dust. Spell bomb that sends a bomb blast between dimensions. Don't you remember that from class? I wasn't asking you what it was! I was trying to say that if you get caught with that thing, you'll catch Major L. Don't think I've forgotten about the challenge. Why are you bringing up the challenge? Mm. Better got get killed out there, because when you get back, we're going head to head. Let me tell you, I will not lose. I don't have time for this now. Catch you later. There's Eat, your, eat My Dust. I remember being told what that's actually a picture of. I have no control at the moment. Let's see. Oops. Not need to back up. Eat my dust. Just exp special explosive shell. Anyway. Let us head on to the gate bridge. To the southwest. I'm thinking it's around. Oh, it's the literal bridge. I remember now. Remember, we had to backtrack slightly order wise, so Tim still has his old spell up. Which means he's going, or his old um, guardian equipped. Which means he's going to master it this, or this combat.
I just put him two levels higher and everything will be fine. Because then he can first aid on the first round of combat, and I no longer ever have to worry about taking damage. Well, at least he hit the right one for spells this time. It did all of 83 damage. I will just punch you in the face instead. There we go. Now Submerge is learned. And now I can switch his Guardian. I keep trying to say Materia. I haven't even played while... Uh, well, Final Fantasy set. Why is my brain so bad? It's because I've... So... Uh, yeah, it's because I've had a day at work. Not a particularly difficult day, just a day. That's all it takes. I really hope taking this time off is actually going to help. So if you all haven't seen, um, I posted a video of oh, High Zone. I just see Big Kitai. No, oh, there's. Sorry, White Fear. So, never mind. I was going to make a bad joke. Bad joke about racism. Uh, punch one in the face, and him. Oh, I have an equip. No, I did equip. That's right. You can see Zone Kitty's butt. Let's at least get it high enough you can see Zone Kitty's face. That's right, he can. And him rebukes the other one. See, it's so much easier to exploit elemental advantages. I should have just had bad sound. It's so much easier to exploit elemental advantages like this. Oh, I remember what I was going to do. Is it worth doing that? So I wanted to pick up some elemental rings. Specifically, um, so I can have Brad with some elemental damage, but not that big of a deal, especially not for this particular dungeon. You can even see the bridge from here. Red boot. Can reach level twenty three. Just one problem. Let's go ahead and save state here so I don't have far back to go, but you'll notice I don't actually have to do that. But I was told to. What I told the devils? I could have sworn to do this now. Maybe I just need to use the key out in the overworld. Eh, we'll find out. Heal Tim. Red attack him. Red butte. So Tim's gaining 117 hit points per level right now. And before, I think he was gaining something like 77. I don't want to make any sense. Maybe he's gaining 45 from up HP? Anyway, 117. Let's try using the bridge key. Bridge key.
Why are you not? Okay. I don't remember having that problem before. No. Welcome to the gate bridge. Oh, it's a vibration. Well, it's not terribly peaceful. That's right. We're back to these two goobers. Ooh, what a lovely explosion. So deeply large. Hard. 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 Here on, we can't cross even if we want it. So smart. We're so cool. We raised the gate. It'll be all ours. It's a giant drawbridge. Hate to spoil that for you. The bridge in front is open. Darn. It's one of their tricks. That's right. Translation quality dropped again. Mm -hmm. Leave it to me. I'll lower the bridge. Oh, I didn't realize I was that far away. Hopefully it wasn't too hard to hear me. That's right, they have no animation for this. It's just showing it open versus showing it closed. Excellent. Wow, the planet's gone up in smoke. Hard. Sneaky. We'll just raise it again. <laughs> What's going on? Energy is insufficient. Five minutes until the bridge opens after recharging. Hmm. That's right. We have to do this entire dungeon in five minutes. I don't get it, but everything seems okay. Before the bridge reopens again. How do we know it's actually Lizard? That's what I want to know. So apparently time doesn't actually count down when you're in battle. Just a fun fact. Those look hideous. What was it called? Iron Maidens. No. That... No. Anyway, by the way, if you haven't noticed, time doesn't count down when you're in combat, so this is not exactly a difficult thing for us to do. Um, go ahead and use Latin. So I don't know what they're actually weak against. I'm just guessing from red. Nope, they're not weak against that. But they are weak against just getting biffed in the face. It's lightning, okay. Red hit 22. Good old bare chested Brad. See, the timer hasn't moved until I had gained control again. So, I might as well just fight everything. So, I'm gonna. These are not hard enemies. So, Brad, on the other hand, has gained 208 hit points, it looks like. Yep, 208 hit points on this level up. Latin. Sorry, I just really like how it's phrased. These are really easy for some reason. I don't quite understand why the enemies are so easy at this point of the game, because I'm not over level. I mean, technically Tim is by one, but I don't care. That shouldn't make any significant difference. He'd be one-shotting him if he was five levels lower, even. One, add defend, Latin in the other. Zap. See, we've gone through 10 seconds technically.
puppies. Ninja hounds. They're obviously ninja. Hmm. I'll go with flame. Punch. Might as well punch the same one. And... Thunder Claw. Defensive posture. Defense up. Well, that doesn't do anything against magic. See, this is actually fairly good XP right now. And we are slowly increasing Tim's skill with... What's the current one equipped? I think it's electric. Right, we know how to do this. Uh, let's try break. Uh, yeah, let's try break. Just punch in the face. And... Sure, why not? Damage. Punch is also normal damage. Water gun is normal damage. Okay, they don't have any elemental resistances. Unless if it's like light dark, which we can't do anything about right now. So those are level 2 spells. Unless we picked up the ring, which is one of the reasons why I was kind of wanting the ring. Since it doesn't matter. I quite understand why Loka and Tim have very slight. Oh, Loka gains 130 hit points per level. So more than Tim, less than Red. Which is about what I was expecting. Ah, I missed. Get another kill on Tim, I guess. Bye bye, puppies. I've spent six seconds. This makes perfect sense. Oh no, it's puzzles. My weakness. This is supposed to be all like dramatic with how long it's going to take. Oh, you see the thing now. We're going to have to be careful when they. Fearfulness over. Time to fight. Zap. So how it goes. Um, I ended up taking a two-hour nap after work today. Seems like a new thing to just take a nap immediately after work every day. Which is really obnoxious, by the way. Um, I'm spending more time napping rather than uh, than my commute was. Even if I was taking, uh, no, if I was taking the bus, it'd be about the same. Should probably organize these spells in the same order so it's easier for me to remember which ones are which for muscle memory. I mean, eventually, I'll probably I'm going to stop using either Loka or Tim. I'm not sure which one, or maybe even both. But both means I don't have healing. I don't think the others have healing. Because my goal is to use the characters I don't use very often. And my normal party is Tim, Loka, Ashley. Check to see how many more things I can have. So yeah, so the two characters that we don't have yet, one of which we have not even seen. <clears throat> the other one we have. Um, yeah, they're going to be in the party for sure, and I just don't know who the other character is going to be. Uh, looks like I have gotten seven. I need seven more. Okay, that's not too hard. Ooh, that one's red. 
wonder if it means it's more dangerous or if it's the same encounter. Ooh, Spookums. That's right, we've got Spookums. It's a clay puppet. I wonder if I can turn undead that. You know what? It's time to science this. Turn undead. Turn undead hits a group for reference. Zap. You're dead. You're dead. Nope, it's not undead. Heat beam. You did 15 whole damage. How dare you? Alright, if it's using heat beam, it'd be ice, which I don't have. I'm just going to use lightning. Blah. Again, I'm not over leveled. I don't understand why the normal enemies are so difficult here. This is, however, when bosses start getting a little bit harder to fight. Um, normally, in a normal run of Wild Arms 2, the bosses at this point in the game are fairly easy. Um, this is the point where they start getting massive amounts of hit points and are more damage than they used to. Like, reference. I mean, the bosses that we've been fighting have been doing like a couple hundred points of damage at most. With the normal enemies doing like two digit. Um, I'm expecting things to start doing four-digit damage soon. And it's kind of hurt a bit. I'm more concerned when I have to use Ashley again. Zap. And... Zap. There's not really much for me to say right now, is there? Um, I guess I'll start talking about what I'm planning on doing after this game. We're not at the halfway point yet. I don't even know when the halfway point is, now that I think about it. Uh, but we're definitely not there yet. Um, I, we might be at most a third of the way through the game. Wild Arms 2 is a long game. Um, so after Wild Arms 2... I'm probably going to take a break again. Uh, maybe get back into some more FTL. Might end up doing FTL on the weekends again. I don't know. It depends on how I end up feeling after I'm no longer working. Uh, let's see. I know the next game that I have planned is going to be Vandal Hearts. Vandal Hearts strategy RPG that's actually based off of Shining Force 2. Lucky call. Holy crap. Okay, I'd be very happy to fight these, thank you very much. Uh, there's a random encounter at, on the other side of this bridge that actually drops lucky cards. And you can steal lucky cards. Might be just steal now that I think about it. But... Um... So yeah, I don't know what special thing I'm going to do with Vandal Hearts. There's maybe we'll do votes as to what direction I promote people. Like, you know, do a poll type of thing for what I should promote this character as. Uh, maybe I'll try to do a no awesome healer run. I don't know if I want to do that. All right. Surprise! Diagonals exist! Oops. Surprise! Diagonals exist! I mean, I'm not even bothering to run at this point. That's how sad this is. Um... Get a better view of Zengi. Um, I don't know, maybe, um, is there a game that people watching this right now might want me to play instead? 
Um, so the types of games that I tend to prefer playing are ones that are not stupid levels of long. Unfortunately, the Wild Arms series does get stupid levels of long. Um, anyway, um, not stupid levels of long can be relatively entertaining, and usually it's games that I've played before. And the reason why I've been doing games that I've played before is because it's easier for me to make commentary and not having to pay attention to the plot. Um, the other style of game, which would be a game I've never played before, would be more of a react type of game. And I don't know if I want to do that with RPGs. I prefer doing that in streams, personally, because I don't know. I don't know why I prefer that in streams. I just do. So yeah, um, so the only videos, you know, the only games that I planned are Vandal Hearts for Strategy RPG, then switch back to Wild Arms 3, then Wild Arms XF, which is the last Wild Arms game I played. Um, I could go through 4 and 5, which I've played uh, maybe a dozen hours of 4 and nothing of 5. But, mm, don't know. The series definitely starts going downhill after 3, unfortunately. At least in my opinion. Um, 4, for some reason, never really captured my attention, and I've not really heard great things about it. Just a generally mediocre game. Also, not the same audio composer. Um, apparently, Michiko Noroke uh, fell ill, I think, during the production of Wild Arms 4, so only produced a small selection of music in the game. And in Wild Arms 5, it's basically nothing. There's like a reference song, and that's it. Maybe I shouldn't have fought all of these just because it's taking so long. Just think, I'm not even maximizing, um, whatchamacallit, no, I'm trying to get kills on Tim or anything. I don't really need to because I don't have too many other Guardians for me to start learning magic from. I'm almost done with Napalm here, aren't I? Or not Napalm hit. Plasma Ball. Whatever it's called. Ooh, I got an achievement. I've destroyed all the gray bots. Security gray bots destroyer. Hmm. I expect the M to look like. I don't know why. Probably because that's what emoji wise it looks like. Um, let's see. Spark you. You know what? I've got a plan. Lightning you. Ow. You have smash hit equip. Oh. If I would have realized that, I could have... You actually have Ben Lagan equipped. What am I doing? I could have done this last turn. I'm going to try to see if we can pick up lucky cards from that first dealing. I have a hunch it's a... Yeah, it's a drop. Okay. You got like one left or something. Tim, what are you doing? Three. Wait. No, it's plasma, not tempest. I have the wind one equipped, don't I? No wonder it wasn't counting down correctly. So three left. I'm gonna get all three on this one, I think. See, as the enemies are not really hurting me at all, and I kind of just want to finish having that 
piece of equipment equipped. trying to take. I guess that's a drain attack? Boy, just keep yourself. Hmm. I don't know, what type of games would people like me to play? Because I've been primarily playing RPGs, either action RPGs a la the Might and Magic series, uh, console RPGs, Beyond the Beyond, Twin Arm series, or action adventure games a la um, Zelliard. Even I thought Zelliard might be not quite that line of thinking. I prefer playing older games. Um, not just because I generally prefer playing older games, but also because they're games that people haven't necessarily seen for a while. I mean, come on, I did a Let's Play of Zelliard. Not too many people even remember Zelliard from back in the day where it was around, never mind have ever heard of it. Um, DOS games are preferred, just because I have a very good setup for playing them. I can even play... You're cleaning yourself on camera zone. Um. Anyway, um, did I actually tempest it? I don't remember seeing that. I'll check it while my I didn't. I've been... I already learned this from it. Well, that was a waste. Oh well. <laughs> Not a big deal. Although now Tim is first. Ruins my order. Brad leveled up to 23. I have spent 1 minute and 30 seconds, and that is all of the bots. Seriously, that's it. I walked the entire way and fought every single one. The bridge is still down. I need to blast over it. Oh, I've reached the place. Now there's no stopping me. Ard. Ard. Hey, don't worry, Ard. I'm a gentleman. And a gentleman I know no means no. Well, I'm glad somebody does in this game. Ard. Gentlemen don't like violence, but love the violence of words. Prepare the for word torture! I can't keep quiet and bullet dangerous phrases that should be censored. Ard, ard, ard. 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 What are you saying? You ask if I'm going to do that if they don't if they don't flinch. Or what am I going to do if they don't flinch? Oh, that's obvious. I'll hit and hit until they say and they do as I say. I'll throw off the gentleman disguise. The air of the intellectual gangster is over. <sighs> yeah, we have full control now. There's no timer or anything. There's also nothing I can do other than advance. I've been waiting for you all. Ard Ard! See you again, I'm repentant fool. Again, everybody's translation just goes to crap during these sections. Yes, indeed. The hidden power is spreading through the terror spell Odessa to the land are Lizanard. It's us. And not anyone suspicious. It's not a hidden sphere, but a sphere of danger, right? I don't even know what that's supposed to be a reference to. What's that? A what? Sweet smell of danger can't be hidden from us. Ard. Ard. What do you want? 
and wouldn't know. I'm the brains and brings the power. And I'm cool. No matter how you look, we're first rate. You Philgaia guys are second rate. So, yep, Liz and Art are not from Philgaia. You won't get away with just a little burn. We can't back down now either. If you're going to confront us, you'll have to destroy us. Here goes. At least this time we just get to punch them in the face faster. Ah. Uh. I didn't. Oh, that's right. Brad just leveled up. Protective shield. By the way, there's an official remix of this song that is awesome. Um, I'll try to remember to post it in the comments. Liquid. All right, and Hard is now diseased. And it's better than the poison. Anti-tank punch, which hits like a prop. 881 damage, and he's shielded right now. So that normally hits for about a thousand. Uh, apparently, according to the low-level guide, they've actually seen it hit Tim for 1500. Um, so yeah. Luka is going to be on healing duty for this entire combat, basically. One second, be shift. Boom. So that's what FP shift looks like. So it's minus one level for two, plus one level for both Luka and... FP shift is a really nice ability. A strange... Uh, Lizanard being strange? Never. So apparently that's a magic attack. It's time. Let's see our first summon. Like, actually used in combat, for real. Um, lock on AM cluster. Tim. Go ahead and... Oh, that's right. I should be saving up force points on Tim so he can actually use his more abilities. Keep forgetting. AM cluster. Bonk. So, combine. This is Udara with Live Horn. Notice that they faded out, not us. That's what Odoric looks like. Isn't Odoric cute? It's like a chibi unicorn with blonde hair for some reason. So Odoric does a full heal? Or no, it's a partial heal. But it's an area of effect healing ability, which is kind of what I wanted. Yeah, it's a partial heal. It's only about as much as um, Luka's heal ability. You did zero to Tim. Zero. These are supposed to be more difficult enemies, too. Not quite enough, okay. Just trying to knock out Ard, because Ard hits really freaking hard, hard. There we go. Knock them both out, actually. 3515. Tim has hit 24. And no, I was not going to use a lucky card on them. I didn't want to, because we've got another battle immediately after this that is worth lucky carding in my mind. Except. Ard, Ard. Get him the nosebleed. No friendship develop. My calculation shows something vital is. Could it be poetry? I need you to move. Okay, we have no time to play. 
Well, after all, we're just discarded horses. Hard, 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 hard. My apologies. My apologies for that little. Hey, you're not too bad. This calls for the best of the best. A proud number one census debut. One look and you'll be going home. That's right. We're fighting Trask 2.0, the biogenic dragonoid. Trask again. This is our third Trask battle. All right. So, he basically does the same thing as what Trask before did, only we're actually at the correct level. <laughs> now, if that helped. Um... This time we're going to be using Loka as our primary attacker. Well, I'm going to shield up now. Yeah, I'm going to shield up now. However, Tim can now first aid, which is the reason why I'm having Tim be my healer. First aid is awesome. Just going to make sure that Tim gets a little more defense. Punch. Oh, right, there's multiple targets. I should be punching the other targets. Sonic Howl! Oof. Maybe I need to protect Brad instead. So I'm gonna do that. He's playing on main weapon, actually. And yeah, Brad can take a hit. I mean, for reference, Trask is not weak anymore. Mage Weapon! Attack up by 90. Blink around? Wow. Go ahead and protect Brad. Brad, go ahead and lock on and cluster with your last cluster. Tim, go ahead and first aid. Now, first aid doesn't heal that much, unfortunately. Later on in the game, first aid's a full heal on first and hit, which is hilarious to me. All right, that should. Oh, that was not a very good bio missile. Yeah, what kind of equipped for people's... You still have a clear chime. I don't think you need a clear chime. But none of these actually help any yet. Tim's got the mittens. Hey, maybe I'll actually have Brad heat from Volka this time. Good crystal. So what aiming does for reference is that it allows you to automatically hit the next attack. So it nullifies somebody's defense, basically. Well, will the crystal. And Shattered Crystal. That was easy. Oh, I need to, um, lucky card. Just remembered. Fifteen damage, really? Lucky. Do I not have it? Wait, no, I know I do because I gained one combat. There we go. Yeah. On. What is with this in it? So Brad is now faster than the rest of the party because he has that whole um, 
excuse me, whenever his force level increases, he all of his stats increase. And with lock on, I'm constantly having his force levels bounce, which is kind of the point. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and first aid this one. Bonk. Oh, you're dead. That was easy. Ten thousand five hundred XP in Gela. Loka hit twenty-four. Brad hit twenty-four. Came to full revive. Tim is just sitting there looking nice. Genic Dragonoid Trask 2.0. I should go back and actually get the other achievements that I skipped because I'm doing a little run. Oh, Richard! Surprisingly, even the monster regeneration unit responded. Is it yielding to a baby? I think it was that? that the regeneration part? You. I'd only had book I got at Begaiden. Everyone would be paralyzed when it was finished. There's nothing more maddening than to be delayed hoodlums I only just met. It makes me shake with anger. Hard. Hard. But the legend of us has just now begun. Today's scientific know-how will lead us to the end of promise. While I was waiting for that day to come with great anticipation, we morphed into this new shape. That's what happened. Are you an idiot? Something like that could never happen. We probably looked like this since birth. Bluntly put, we're in our birthday suits. Either way, we've managed to successfully delay you all on a grand scale never seen before. Listen. <sighs> well, it was a rotten trick. We ungrudgingly exposed our brilliance. Vin was probably divided. Me and my image, me, me and my images of youth will never ever be caught. As your last memory in your teens, let the sight of our departure burn your goggle eyes. Adieu. like cutting the tail off of a lizard. Brat! More important for us to pursue the Odessa forces than chase those two. More important for us to turn around and get that stupid treasure chest. Except we can't get it. I don't think we can actually get that right now. Nope. Alright. We are at 48 minutes. Should we stop here or can we... I think we can play a little bit longer. Data tablet pattern shows that they're now heading northwest. It's northwest from here. Bet they're getting try and trying to go through Green Hell. Sorry, wrong voice. Green Hell? Do you say Green Hell? Green Hell is a great one to the northwest forest. The Green Hell Trail is the only way to escape this area. Even animals cannot get out. The tablet's pattern still indicates a northwest movement. We'll just have to trust Brad. Follow them. Stay on them like a... So remember at the very start of the game? Back. Those are the gates of Green Hill, because we've been through here before. The very start of the game. Melkiums, please. Melkiums!
These are the ones that I can steal lucky cards from. Well, the left one's lucky card. Gala Crazy hits like hell, by the way. Because it does an equal amount of damage to the amount of money every member of the battlefield has on them total. So, after defeating the two of them, I will be gaining a thousand gala. Which means they hit for a thousand. Which, ow. Pocket the other one. Tim, I want... No, I don't quite have enough. Um, go ahead and claw that first Melkin. That one's dead. Or that one can be killed, I should say. I don't know what those are supposed to be. Oh, two lucky cards acquired. For zero. First aid. Give up a little bit more. Add a little bit more. 360 XP and no gala. I wonder if it actually uses up the gala total. You know what? I think I can take the rest of this video just grinding up the Melkiums. Because... Um, yes, please? I should have had Loka heal herself. Oh, well. Oh, well, bit late now. But I, they only dealt 500 damage this time, because there's only one of them. A little bit. I'm going to get five. Because I can always come back here. It's not like it's that hard. I just have to go through Green Hill. Or from the Gate Bridge. Merchant bug. Cool. Dig out. Brad. Pickpocket. Help him. Him. First aid. That should top everybody off. He ran away. Dig out. Gained a pilot rose. Are you going to... Yeah, you're going to get all crazy and hit me for 500. Yeah. Eat 60. They counted the enemy that ran away. Interesting. Not equip. Uh, go ahead and heal yourself. Everybody's down the same amount. I don't know why. Launch. Now we don't have to get hit. Problem solved. That's five. That's good enough. We'll go ahead and re -equip.
there should be another uh, small village on the other side of the forest. As long as they're cutting through the forest too, they're bound to be the clues. Do you know anything about the village, Brad? Let's go. The footprints lead directly north. Brad, you don't talk very much about yourself, do you? Just don't have anything worth talking about. Let's hurry. The longer we wait, the harder the pursuit. I don't know what happened to my lower register recently. Hm. I'm going through puberty again. No. Please, no. Okay, it's not this sound. Also, the enemies here are pathetic. Because they haven't updated in the game. I don't know if the enemies ever update in the game itself, now that I think about it. Remember, we didn't grab all the loot before because I was trying to not take, uh, get in the baths. There's another. I mean, it's just heal berries, but still. We still end up in a random encounter. Triffids. That is an updated enemy, isn't it? Let's switch over to store. Can't release. Can analyze. Brad can punch one in the face. I'm going to assume they're making against fire. Yep, that's a new enemy. You were definitely dead. And you're also dead. Tim reached level 25, which is apparently an achievement. Good job, Tim. I guess they did update the enemies. I thought they didn't for some reason. Alright. We didn't take this path before. Let me guess. That just looked really suspicious to me. Oh. The heck are you? Stole us. The heck are you? I'm gonna punch a bird. And him, go ahead and... Hmm, let's see. They're flying enemies. I'm gonna go with a rock dolt. And yes, I'm aware it says rock bolt. I don't care. It's a rock dolt. Ooh, they're strong against rock. And they're hitting me with freeze back. Not very good. Ah, uh, they're mages, that's why. They're probably resistant to all elements. Let's find out. Plus, level 20. 230 hit points. Weak to none. Yep. First aid. High Vortex! Ooh. Bust out the level 2 spells on me. Well, I'll bust out the umbrella on you. I just noticed that Tim has multiple poses. But Brad doesn't? Hmm. Might as well collect the gems. Just making sure that Ashley is still, in fact, lacking in status. I mean, has a status. Not like means that's the opposite. That's right. Blow off. Okay, no nothing in here. Let's go with Finlagon in this case. Take pocket. Defend. Go ahead and fire them. I'm going to try to get my last spell off my current equipment. It is actually going down, right? I should double check.
I'm going to save at Tabaka Village for reference. Because that's where we're going, if you can tell. Sorry for the lack of kitty. And we had Sun Kitty here for a while, but apparently he decided that he didn't want to be here. It's not down there. Okay, yes. We only have three left on Tempest. Wait, I'm not learning Tempest. I have two. There we go. Oh, there's his own kitty. Want to jump back up here, son? No? Okay. I only need to fight two more enemies. I will almost certainly kill two more enemies before I get to the pocket. So remember to get this this time. Vitality Apple, so that's absolutely nice. I believe I messed that up before. Maybe I won't encounter another enemy. Oh, no, I'm not at Tabaka Village yet. Okay. Really? Maybe I won't have it. Okay, there we go. Just had to say it often enough. Ooh, there's three verbs. Meow. Bonk. Wow, oh, Tim's actually stronger. Oh, he, that's right. His equipment. Dirt. High vortex on Tim. That should be fine. I'd like to get through this because I need to use the bathroom. And Plunge Tap can now be used. There we go. Hang zone. Oh yeah, before I forget, let's equip the correct guardian. Uh, no, no. It is Femtum that I need. Oh, I remember this. I don't know how it got all the way back there again, but it's rusty now, so it's been years. I have a friend that is playing the demo of a game called Temple of Snow. Oh, that's right! It's the indie demo showcase going on. Derp. One moment. I'm be right back. Need to use the Where'd you go? There you go. Turn back. Sorry about that. The platter told me, yeah, no, you need to do this now. So the more important part about Tim reaching 25 force points, being level 25, is that now on turn one he could have Pisha. There's a really good reason that's nice to have. Um, namely, it means that it's really quick for me to increase force levels like that. Because Lilka, once she reaches level 25, can Mystic Mini Carrot get ev everybody a force level, which is effectively the same thing as FP Shift. Tim can FP Shift. Actually, no, it's better than FP Shift because Lilka's force points remain the same, except they go down and up one level, which is nice for, excuse me, stats. I should be fighting while I explain. And, yeah, it, though. End result of it. Why are they picking on poor Tim? I might actually have to throw a heal this way. Um. What that would end up meaning is that I will have some... Every character will go up by a minimum of two force levels on the first turn of combat. That's a great way of starting a boss battle, because it gets all of your stats up that much. 
just gonna collect those. Oh yeah, how many do I how many battles? How many things do I have to kill with him? There we go. Um one. Just one more. Okay. I can do that. No, I can't, because I've just reached Debak Village. Let me turn around and go back. Oh no, that's right. I forgot. There's random encounters in here. This will work. I was surprised by a slug house thing. The hell? A blue snail. A really big snail. Actually, hold on a moment. Hey, Brad, would you mind swapping over to Stoltark really fast? Heal Tim. Brad, go ahead and analyze. Tim, I um... oh, There isn't a salt spell. Um, I'm gonna go with Sonic Claw. Cure Gas. All right, what is this thing? Blue Snail, level 21. Okay, so it is level appropriate. 1,200 hit points. A weak against ice. Interesting. Unfortunately, I don't have an ice spell on Tim because I don't have an ice guardian yet. Plus side, it means I could just poke it a whole bunch. It has gobs of hit points, so I'm not concerned about killing it right now. Toxic Breath. There we go. I mathed it right. And Tempest has been unlocked. Now I only have Graviton left, which I think is Earth. Which is what Rudy has equipped, isn't it? Yeah, pretty good. Dunkinny, what are you trying to do? You can switch back to Fenlogon. Alright, and we are heading to Tabak Village, where we're going to save an exit for reference. Once we can, that is. So here hasn't changed here since then. Could it still be the same? I've changed so much since that day. Nothing stays the same, no matter what form it is. Uh, does something matter? You seem like you're monologuing internally. It's nothing. Forget it. Let's keep following those guys. Okay, I do have control now. Sweet. We are going to save immediately. want to keep playing, but it's kind of late at night, too. Well, either way, I'm going to stop this recording. I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!